Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about how to install Odoo 18 in Windows. And then we will see how to configure it in PyCharm. There are two prerequisites to install Odoo in Windows. The first one is PostgreSQL and the second one is Odoo executable file itself. So let's download these two at first. Go to Google and search for Odoo Nightly. and PostgreSQL. Now download them one by one. First, let's download Odoo. Go to this website, Odoo Nightly Builds. Choose the first one, 18, st 18 Stable Community Edition. Click on Windows, and there is a long list. Let's download the first one, which is the latest one also, odoo underscore 18.0.latest.exe. Downloaded. It will take some time. So let's now start downloading PostgreSQL. Download this for Windows. Go to uh, download the installer. And let's download the latest version, which is 17.4 for Windows. This will take also some time, so once these two are finished downloading, I will come back. Well, PostgreSQL and Odoo 18 are downloaded successfully. Now, let's install them one by one. I'll go for PostgreSQL at first. Which is this one, so install it. Click on next. Installation directory. It will be installed on uh, C program files PostgreSQL 17. Next. Next. Give a password. This password is very important, so try to remember it. I'll go for Odoo 18 as the password. Now set the, the port. I will go for the default one, which is 5432. Next. Next. And next. This will take also some time, so I'll come back when it is finished. So finish it. Now let's add the PostgreSQL executable files path into the environment variables. So go to C drive, program files, PostgreSQL, 17, and bin. Copy this path and go to environment variables. 
environment variables and add this here. Also add this in here. Okay, okay, and then okay. Now install the Odoo 18 executable file. We downloaded it. Double click this. Click on OK. Next. Let's take on just Odoo Server because we already have installed PostgreSQL database, so we don't need to install this again. Next. Now, where is the destination folder? I will create a dedicated folder for this in my D drive. And I'll name it Odoo 18. Okay. And then install. Okay. Odoo 18 is installed successfully. Now, let's create an user for this specific Odoo 18 in PostgreSQL. So let's open CMD and write this command PSQL -u PostgreSQL PostgreSQL dash h localhost and hit enter and write the password that we used during the installation of postgresql which is odoo 18. now we're in the command line interface of postgresql now let's create a user for our odoo 18 instance to create a user, write this command. Just follow the process. Create user, then the username. I will go for Odoo 18. Then password. For password, I will go Odoo 18 again. I'm having the same thing for the username and password so that we can remember it very easily. Then we, we have to assign the necessary roles for this user. Create role, super user, and create db. Don't forget to add semicolon at the last of the command. Then hit enter. Now we will check whether this user it has, has been created or not. For this, we have to write this command backslash du. Sorry. And hit enter. You can see here we have a user named Odoo18 and who is a, who has this list of roles. So we have successfully created a, an user for our Odoo18. Now we have to configure the Odoo 18 for PyCharm. So open PyCharm if you have installed it already. And if it's not, then download and install it first, then open. I already have downloaded and installed it. So I'll just open this. Now open the Odoo 18 
directory where we installed our Odoo 18. So that was in D drive in Odoo 18 directory. So let's open it. This is our Odoo 18 source code. Now from here, click on server. It will take some time. Okay. Then click on odoo.conf and make a copy of this because we don't want to remove the original one. Copy and paste here. Okay. Now open the odoo.con. Here we can see a lot of things, but we don't need all of these things. So we will remove what are not necessary and give what are necessary. Okay. Now let's add the PZ admin path here. So what was our PZ admin path? That was in C drive program files postgresql 17 bin and this okay now let's change the db user so when i uh, created uh, uh, our user in PostgreSQL that was Odoo 18 and password, db password is also Odoo 18. db port was 5432 when you installed PostgreSQL. Okay, everything is all right. Now save this. Now we have to configure our Odoo bin. So edit configurations, Python, and we have to select the script path, which is Odoo 18, server, and Odoo bin. Here we have to add a command to select the odoo.conf that we have cre uh, created a few moments ago. Odoo.conf, then hyphen hyphen dev, space XML. Parking directory, Odoo 18 server. Okay, everything is all right. Apply, okay but we don't have any python interpreter selected now so click on here add new interpreter add local interpreter system interpreter click on here order 18 python and python.exe okay so it's added here. Now again, click on this edit configurations to see whether our Python interpreter is successfully selected or not. Here we can see that we, we are using the Python.exe in Odoo 18. It's, it's very important. Okay. Now go to task manager. Services from there, search for Odoo 18, Odoo Server 18, open services, search for Odoo 18, Odoo Server 18, then uh, properties, then select disabled from here. 
apply. And then star. Okay. Now close this one. Close this one. Now run our Odoo instance from here. Allow it. So you can see our Odoo instance, Odoo 18 instance is running on 8069 port. So go to Google Chrome or any other browser you like and write localhost 8069 as our instance is running on this particular port 8069 and hit enter. We can see that our database selector is ready. Now we need to create a database. Let's set a master password. So we add a master password or admin password admin here. So we'll go for it. Admin database name. I'll go for Odoo 18. Email anything you like. I'll go for 18. Password Odoo 18. Phone number if you want, but it's not necessary. Country. Bangladesh I'll select for and if you want demo data then click on this so I want that so I'll check this demo data then create database okay our database is successfully created now log into this database enter the credentials that we added during uh, the creation of the database we add the email as admin and the password as odoo 18 so i'll enter that and click login congratulations our odoo 18 is successfully installed and configured in windows now we can test any module here like the sales module we can try to activate this and let's see what happens well we can see the sales module is successfully activated we can see the demo data also so everything worked successfully we have installed and configured Odoo 18 in windows system successfully so no more today i will see you in the next one thank you so much for watching this video